If a lighting circuit is not working and you want to confirm that a light switch is good or bad, the safest way to check out a light switch is to remove it from the circuit. It may be a good idea to mark the wires or take a picture of it before you remove it. I'll show how to test a two-way switch and a three-way switch using a multimeter. Set the multimeter's dial to read ohms. That's usually an omega symbol. Uh, this meter has a K and an omega symbol. If your multimeter doesn't have auto ranging like this one, then you'll need to set the dial to the correct resistance reading that you think you might read. Uh, there should be uh, a 100 ohm resistance selection on your meter. Set it to that because we shouldn't be reading more than 100 ohms. Plug the black lead into the common socket, and that also may say common or negative. Plug the red lead into the socket that may have a positive or a ohms or k ohms symbol. When reading resistance, polarity doesn't matter. Notice the display on my multimeter with the meter leads apart is a flashing one with a bunch of zeros. That means open. Before beginning any work using a multimeter, always test the multimeter and the leads. Hold the meter leads together and you should read almost a dead short, which in the case of this meter, about 1.2 ohms. Next, make sure that the meter leads are not broken inside of their casing and wiggle them around. The display should remain steady around an ohm or two. If the display jumps around and up and down, then it's likely that your meter leads are broken inside of the case and you need a new pair. A two-way switch, also called a single pole switch, turns lights on or off from just one location. The switch simply opens and closes and switches the hot leg of power to the light. A two-way switch has two silver terminals on it and a ground terminal. The toggle switch says off and on. I have the switch in the off position and I'll clip my meter leads onto these wires that I've attached to the terminals. And as I said earlier, polarity doesn't matter when you're testing with resistance. So you can clip the leads on either way. And in the off position, we have a open. And if you remember when we had the meter leads apart, it also read an open. And now when I switch the switch to the on position, nothing is changing on the multimeter. It still reads open, which is an indication that this switch is bad. And if, again, we just touch those meter leads together, we know our meter is working fine because now I've shorted them together. This is an example of a bad two-way switch. It does not close. Here's a good switch, and in the off position, the multimeter reads open. When the switch is closed, the contacts inside of the switch are closed, and we read close to one ohm. I like to give switches an additional test, and when they're closed, I like to just give them a little tap and as long as the resistance doesn't move around on your multimeter like swing up and down the switch is good if our meter reading would swing up and down then that's an indication that the switch is going bad and may work intermittently because of the electronics contained inside a dimmer switch you can't 
use a multimeter to determine whether or not the switch is bad. A three-way switch is a switch that is on a circuit where you can turn the lights on or off from two places. Most switches will have a black terminal that's called the common and the hot wire is connected to it and it'll have two gold terminals that the traveler wires are connected to and how this switch works is when you flip it up and down the in switch internally switches from one set of travelers to the other. Here's a three-way switch. It has no on or off on the toggle. There's our black common screw and the two gold screws for the traveler wires. I have one meter lead connected to the black common terminal and another meter lead to one of the traveler terminals. Notice that we are reading an open. If I switch to the other traveler terminal, you'll notice that we now have a dead short. So the switch is closed between this terminal and this one. And if I give it the little rattle test, the reading stays steady. And if I switch the switch, now we have an open between this common terminal and the traveler terminal. That means that the switch has now moved over to this traveler terminal. And if I move my meter lead to that terminal, we should expect to read almost zero ohms, which we do. It's a dead short. And again, a little tap on the switch. It holds steady. And this is an example of a good three-way switch. If your switch tests good and you think you have a wiring problem, I do have other videos that explain how to wire switches, how to connect ground wires, how to replace switches. I'll put some links in the box below this video, or you can click on the channel name Know How Now to find other videos. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated, and thanks for watching.